to her. Hundreds of children just in the state of Florida are waiting to be adopted and have a family. And this includes not just babies, but young children and even teens. Adoption not only changes the lives of children, but also the families. November is Adoption Awareness Month. Daniel is the state's oldest child serving agency. It works with the Florida Department of Children and Families to oversee the Florida Adoption Information Center, the state's single source for information about adoption. So joining me this morning, we have Bob Rooks with Daniel. And of course, we have the Sorber family here to talk about what it's actually like being a family with an adopted daughter. But first we have to ask, so how does Daniel help out um, facilitating these adoptions? Okay. In, in addition to helping good families like the Sorbers, we also operate for the state, the state's adoption referral and information service. So that's all areas of adoption. So for people wanting to adopt, whether that be an infant, international, or the children in foster care that need to be adopted, and that's the majority of our work is on behalf of those kids in foster care that need to be adopted, but also adults that were adopted that may be seeking their medical history, mm -hmm. we can help them with that. Oh, wow. Pregnant women call us that's considering placing their child for adoption, we'll help them with that. And so it's all areas of adoption. In fact, our motto is, if adoption is in a sentence, we can help. Oh, that's amazing. So yeah, that's, and great. That, that's our role in adoption. We get 10,000 calls a year on average and have helped since we've opened in 1994. We've had over 250,000 calls. Why do you love this so much? It, because it's good work and it's helping families and it's just wonderful. It's like I love going to work every day. I can tell. If I can, I can, tell if you I can help families, it's my it's my way of being able to give back. And you've seen a lot of success stories like the Sorbers. And we have to ask you also, you have an adopted daughter. How did this come about? Was it difficult? I think a lot of people are intimidated when thinking, oh gosh, ad adoption's going to take forever. It's just going to be a difficult process. But it seems to be a success for you all. I mean, it was so easy. I was a pastor for 10 years. Mm -hmm. A man came to our church, carrying Cassidy a little bit, and just gave me her rundown on her story. After that, I said, if I can help, let me know. May 23rd, I get a phone call from a lawyer saying, hey, you want to adopt this child? And I'm like, yes. Next phone call I made was to God because he had to agree. <laughs> yeah. And then he said, you know, Sherry, this is on your watch. We've got to do this. So we did, and we didn't look back. I gave the church to my son, Shane. And we haven't, I mean, we, in the Daniel, I have to tell you, they are awesome. Katie, Jeremy Reeves, they, these are people that are social workers. They walked into our heart. They walked into our family. They didn't just come into our house. They came into to our lives. And with Cassidy, we didn't, I did not birth her from my womb. I birthed her from my heart. Mm. And my family loves her, and she is ours. And if anybody... <laughs> Sorry, that was so yes. sweet. <laughs> yeah. But that is how beautiful adoption is. And you really feel that way, and I'm sure she feels the same way about you, right, Cassidy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very beautiful little girl. Um, so did you ever think you'd be adopting, though? I mean, it, it kind of just fell in your lap, right? And it's probably the best thing that's ever happened to you? Well, I've always wanted to adopt, but we have okay. uh, we had five children, a lot of grandchildren, yeah. and just did not really, really see it. And it just, it just happened. I mean, some people get afraid of, you know, DCF, social services, but that was not our experience at all. We cannot say enough good because these people came into our home, they made us feel comfortable, we made them feel comfortable, but we are a family. Just because she's adopted and I don't see them every day, they're on my phone. I still call them with questions and before the sun goes down, Katie will answer me, mm -hmm. Jeremy Reeves will yeah. get back so with me. they're helpful even once well, you've yes. adopted the child, it's not like, see you later no, and then no, it's done. No. Yeah, yeah we don't walk out of people's lives no. once they've adopted. Mm -hmm. You know, our, our, our main role is to help them get to that point of, if they want to adopt or looking for adopt, talk about process. Get them connected to the good folks that will be most helpful to them. And so that, that's our role, is to be that good helper in adoption. There are, there are a couple of things that people want to know about. One, if you're adopting from foster care, there's little to no cost. Right. When people think of adoption, sometimes they're thinking $25,000, $30,000. Not true if you're adopting from foster care. A couple other things to be aware of is, one, no one will ever place a child in your home that you have not agreed to and that you don't know everything that we know about that child. Yeah. There's no secrets here. We, if you're that perspective... Yeah, you want adopt, it to work out. Yeah, of course. We, yeah. When we place that child for adoption, that's the last time we want to place that child. Never again. And so, uh, so we make sure that that family 
has the information they need to make a good decision. That sounds great. This, I have to give a shout out to our adopted niece. They're telling us to wrap here, but uh, we just have a, you know, adopted my niece. Uh, my sister-in-law adopted this beautiful little girl, uh. Ava Grace. And it was, it was not a difficult process for her either. It was such a blessing. Like our lives are, are really changed by adoption and um, it's just the most beautiful, beautiful thing and, and feel the same way. Like, you know, even though Sarah did not birth her, right. she, is, she is our blood, she's our family. Yes. Like that doesn't matter. We love her just so much. But if you're interested in adopting a child, uh, we are gonna post, of course, more information on how you can contact Florida Adoption Information Center. We have phone numbers as well on your screen that we're gonna post for you. And of course, always Daniel right here, a great resource to help you yes. expand your family. Thanks so much for coming on. Okay, thank you, Ashley.